So we've got the femur exposed here. It's a four inch posterior incision. He's a thin guy, BMI 28. 28. Um, and uh, good bone density. He's, he's uh, 69, but he's got a T score of positive 2.6 on the femur. So he's, he's, a, he's, he's a low fracture risk candidate, basically zero chance of fracture. You can see the head almost looks normal here. He's got erosion here, on, here centrally, and he's got a, what you can't see, the one centimeter band all the way around. And that's what these people with borderline profunda and big spurs typically have. Okay, so I'm just gonna make my coordinate marks on the femur to, to so the head is, is directly over the neck properly. And so I'm just extending the neck onto the head. And then I'm gonna look at the calcar as well. I gotta turn on my light here to see a little better. And I can see the calcar and I draw the calcar line up. And uh, then we're just, just going to uh, look at the femoral neck and just draw a line where the stem should be if I was looking at an x-ray. All right, so that's my starting point. It's usually about a centimeter or so above the fovea. All right, so we'll get ready to use the jigs that uh, with the biomed system. Uh, first of all, there's a sizer. This is the this is this is the neck size of the 52 implant. This is the head size. So it just goes over, which is appropriate for the profundas. You got to go higher on the femoral side, so that'll be just perfect. It just barely fits over. And there's obviously plenty of clearance on the neck, so we're going to see what the smallest implant is on the neck. 48, 46, 44. 44 fits on nicely with just a little wiggle, and that's what I like. So that's the smallest implant I could put on for him. And uh, so we're going to prepare the femoral cut for this implant, and then we could always downsize. You know, we'll cut, cut, prepare the, the pin on the 44, and then, um, uh, and then cut on the uh, 50, 52, which is actually his head size, right? So, and then we can always downsize it later if we need to. All right, so we get this jig on, it gets on the neck and it puts this hole, if you put it on zero, it puts the hole right through the center of the sphere. So, you know, you can see I can move, start it anywhere I want to, guide wire please. So I put this pin on the neck and then I put it, I put, it, put the pin just at my marked starting point. And then drive it down about a centimeter to engage it. And disassemble, and now we check. This is where we, it's crucial to have, once you, you, know, you can put the pin in freehand too, it's not a big deal, but the guide helped a little. So now this is the uh, 44 check guide, because we, we, we're we sizing for a 44 implant, but we can go to a 52. Okay, uh, so he's got a pretty big head to neck ratio. So clear is easily superior, where he is, where we definitely want to clear. Posteriorly, it just clears, and inferiorly it clears. So it's perfect all the way around. I don't check the anterior because the neck is oval, and if the back is close by, I don't need to check there, and I, I don't want to make a bigger incision to do that. All right, so now we have a little sleeve to just double check the cut position. And I can just visualize where the um, barrel cutter, so this is now the 52 barrel cutter. So it's gonna take you can't see it from your angle, but I can see it's going to barely sky of the anterior side. It's going to take off more on the posterior side, and it's going to barely cut the superior. So I like that because it, that prevents. I know I'm not going to notch, but in this case, in a cam case, this would be perfect. But he doesn't have a cam, so I want to take off equal on both front and back. So I'm going to slightly reposition the uh, pen freehand. So I'm just going to. I don't want to change it in, in varus valgus. I just want to change it so that the cut comes up from the uh, from the anterior. Take a little bit more off the anterior. So just pull it back a little bit, drop my hand a little bit, and re-engage. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the sleeve again. So I'm just fine tuning the cut. Okay, so now I'm taking a few millimeters off the front and a few millimeters more off the back. It's a little bit more balanced. You can't see it. I still like just taking a few off the top and, um, and more off the bottom because, uh, you know, avoids that, that neck notch. Just gonna do one final check with the uh, feeler, see where the blade comes out to see if I'm still okay. I tilted it this way so I should have more clearance back here, which I'm seeing, and the top and the superior and inferior should stay about the same. And I'm clearing there, and, you know, it's just contacting the neck. So that, again, it's contact, the barrel ringer were a 44 with contact the neck, but I'm gonna cut a 52, so I'm way, way out of the way. 
All right, so now I've got my head cut set for a guy with no deformity of the head. I'm just going to drive the pin through, and then everything else is just mechanical after this point. He's got great bone, you know, 69. He's got piece of positive 2.6. Okay, so now we've got the pin driven through the lateral cortex to anchor it so it won't, won't wobble and get thrown off. And we'll throw a, a little slotted towel around it to cut, catch the debris. This is an eight millimeter cannulated reamer and it's got markings about how deep you should go in. It's not that, it's not that important just that you go deep enough. But over tubing is not a problem. You never go out the lateral side. Got to lean into a little bit because he's got hard bone. Double blue is the 52, so I'll go past that. I'm good. All right, so now we now we place the posts. So these are the similar to the Oxford knee stop posts, and this is the plus six, which we which we like to use instead of the standard to make the initial cut. Except if it's a really short head, then we put a a, a standard on. So in a, in a really flattened head, we want to have an earlier stop, but. Um, here we like a plus six stop. Everything is color coded. So this is the reamer for the 52, which is the double blue, color coded, and uh, make the cut. So I have a stop, but I also pay attention to where my cut is, and I can get, obviously we can feel when the cut is going through. So let's take it off to show you that the cut is eccentric superior to inferior, but it's approximately equal answer to posture because he does not have a cam deformity. So I'll cut it all the way off now. There we go. Done. So again, once you put this post in, once you make the big drill hole, you've bought your position and you don't have to really do, do any checking at this point anymore. Um, Break away the bone. Hot poker, please. And I like to just take this off gently so we don't strip any soft tissue off the neck. So, come on down here. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing down here. Okay, this guy doesn't. Okay, that's really good. All right, so now I don't need to take any additional osteoporosis. So now we have the, the standard cut. So this one is designed to take six millimeters off the top. The implant is. Every implant in this system is six millimeters to apex. So I'm going to, and I've chosen, and this guy, you've got to bring normal anatomy, do a measured resection. Take off six, put back six. Keep them as anatomic as possible. And I have changed the center slightly up by taking less off the top. I understand that. Okay. This, this implant is designed for that, for that post, whatever size you choose to come up right in the middle of the box and there's a little line you can hardly see but that, that tells us we've taken six off. This is the implant too so I can watch at the head and neck junction to see how far I go down. So I have two different checks so I make sure I don't goof it up because there's a cyst or something like that the post moves. But the post is pretty solid, it hardly ever moves. And this guy for sure won't move because it's really hard on. spinning now on the top of this post. Got a good resection. I like my my position at the head neck junction. Inferior, you can check it however you want to. And I take my six millimeters. So now I'm going to extract the post again. Don't take that off for a second. And you can see there's a nubbin of six millimeters. Another way to double check. I've taken six millimeters. Okay, now we'll take it off. So we round it a little bit with this tool because the the stem has a little rounding into the cap. All right, so drill. I, because I think the apex of the head is marginally vascularized at this point, I'll make a few drill holes around the apex, only about half to one centimeter in. 
for revascularization. If there's any cysts or anything, I cure Adam out real thoroughly. He doesn't have any. So we basically got the head prepared. We're keeping all the dust in here as much as we can. Yeah, perfect. Put the trial on. Again, we can visualize through it. We can see the level. I could now choose to take a little bit more off if I wanted to, but I think this is perfect. I want to do a measured resection on this gentleman. Now we're going to look for anterior osteophytes, so we tilt it up a little bit more. Notice the leg at 45, and when you have it not at full flexion, you can internally rotate it safely. It won't hurt the nerve. And then I can take a lawn here and go down here and come off. He's got a couple of little ones. Lee, can you hold the ball on? I can use the edge of the implant as a guard to trim off any anterior osteophytes. And if you had a cam lesion, you would take it off at this point, but he doesn't have one. I'm just checking there. Great anterior offset, basically unchanged from his previous. So we're good there. I don't really take much off posterior unless it's really gigantic. Uh, I leave that alone because it's not gonna impinge into anything. All right, we're done with the femur until we prepare the acetabulum and then we'll come back. And if we have to go down with that stem, we could recut. Uh, recut the femur to a smaller size, of course we can't go up. You cut down, and I'll just show you the, the implantation, the porous implant, see how, you can see how it goes down. Stop for a second. 